Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm checking out the Emerald X20 guitar. We've been talking about these on my channel for a while. I finally got my hands on this one. I want to give you a brief but concise overview of what I think. There's things I love about this guitar and there's a few things that I don't love so much as well that I'll get to later. But I think it's a really interesting guitar and now that Rainsong are closing their doors I am looking for other carbon fiber guitars to recommend. I still love my Rainsong, I'm very sad they're closing but I want to check out other carbon fiber guitars and this is the one that people keep telling me to check out all the time. This is fully carbon, it does have a wood veneer, a bit like the Rainsong that I had that had a wooden veneer on fuse to the top and I think it looks really nice on this. I think this guitar looks amazing. It's futuristic and yet classy. It's about five pounds. It's much heavier than the Rain Song, but it does have some more kind of modern features that I think warrant that. And it feels incredibly sturdy, as you'd expect. When I took it out of the box, it was ice cold and there was some condensation on it. I wiped all that off and it was absolutely fine. You would never do that with a wooden guitar. And that's why we love carbon fiber guitars, of course. <laughs> Let's start with the headstock. It looks really nice, nice logo on there. Really nice modern tuners. They're kind of small in size. They fit really well on the smaller headstock. They work great. Obviously it keeps tuned incredibly, incredibly well. The neck is not too thin and not too fat. Now this is what I wanted from the Rain Song guitars. The N1 neck was kind of on the skinny side. The N2 for me was a bit too full. This is sort of in the middle, which I love. So the neck shape of this is really, really, really great. The frets are also stainless steel and I've been raving about stainless steel frets lately and I wanted to try more guitars with stainless steel frets. This has stainless steel frets and once again I love them. All acoustic guitars should have stainless steel frets in my opinion. For me that's a huge selling point of this. Again over the rain song they didn't use stainless steel frets. I think carbon guitars or oh, all guitars should use stainless steel frets personally. Doesn't look amazing in the light here. It really does look great. Let's look at the body. You'll notice that the sound hole is not where you expect it to be it's more of a sound port so the sound is projected up to the player which in theory is a really good thing really nice cutaway the cutaway allows you access all the way up the neck it's a massive cutaway so you can get your hand right up to the end of the fretboard up here bridge is nice well really nice this is the ghost piezo system each saddle here is its own pickup so you can adjust the height of each one and also you can adjust the intonation which is unheard of on the acoustic guitar so it's really nice to have a fully adjustable intonation. Another great thing. Carbon fiber bridge, obviously everything is carbon fiber. The back is really nice, it's that weave. Look at the contours everywhere. This is a dreadnought body, but it feels much smaller because of all the contours. You can see there's lots of fingerprints on here. It's a fingerprint magnet from the glossy finish. Look at that reflection in that. But you know, that's what you get with the glossy finish. A bevel here as well. They really have got every modern feature that you would want from a guitar. Like everything, stainless steel frets, um, adjustable saddles in an acoustic, pickup system, which is that combined with the K&K &K as well. There's two volumes here to control it. Very easy to use, very simple. Really well balanced, very low action, a plect as well. Stainless steel frets that are also plect as well. I'm trying to think if there's anything missing from this guitar as like a modern guitar. I mean, some of the other guitars, you can detach the neck. This neck is straight through, so you can't detach the neck for travel. But I mean, I think that's fine. Again, it looks very sleek. So when I took this out of the box, I was blown away. I already knew what the specs would be, and that's why I was so attracted to these guitars. And then actually feeling and holding and seeing the specs in person, I was absolutely blown away. I thought, this is kind of my dream guitar because I like traditional stuff but I also like modern stuff and modern convenience. I hate tuning the guitar. I hate when you go to drop D the other strings go out of tune and I hate worrying about humidity and this fixes all of those problems. This guitar could potentially last you the rest of your life. So all of that on paper and in person really impressed me. Here's the thing I want to be very honest in this review and I'm going to give you some audio examples of what I'm talking about but I think the best honesty comes from the very first impression. And the very first impression of this was, well, I was ready to sell all the other guitars, but then I got my pick and I strummed it. And I was kind of disappointed.
when I strummed it, it just seemed very quiet, muted. I sort of heard the strings more than the guitar. The guitar's not vibrating at all. Now, let me elaborate on that. I've kind of figured out why that is. The top is quite thick, and of course, there's no regular sound hole. The whole guitar is five pounds as well. It's a stiff guitar. You know, it's not a resonant guitar. Now, that's not a bad thing. A lot of Martin fans are always looking for those guitars that are incredibly light, incredibly resonant. Well, that's not good on stage, as I've discovered. I was playing through the K&K &K pickup in here in front of my studio monitors and didn't get any feedback. I could hear it starting to feedback, but with a wooden guitar like a Martin guitar, that would just fly off the handle. So in that regard, it's a good thing. You know, I'm not against kind of stiffer tops on guitars as a stage performer. I have that on my Cole Clark guitar. But even then, that Cole Clark guitar doesn't have such a strong bass as this or a sweet tone as this. I do like the tone of this, but the Cole Clark has more volume. And I do like volume from a guitar. I don't really like quiet guitars. You know, for me, there's a sweet spot. And this, for me, just doesn't hit it. So then I thought, well, maybe they should have just filled this hole in here and just had it as a stage guitar. So I did try the pickup, and I will play the pickup. Okay, first of all, I'll play all ghost pickup. <laughs> Now all K and K pick up. The high E seems weak here. It's also a lot quieter than the other pickup. It'd be nice if they were more balanced in volume, but that's okay. I'll leave that at hundred percent and then bring in the ghost about halfway. So again, that high string just seems weak to me for some reason. And it still sounds like, a, you know, it is a piezo bass pickup. You still hear the piezo quality. It might benefit from a microphone as well. But I will say it's a very clean signal, nice, nice amount of gain to it. There's no hum at all, which has been a bit of a problem for me lately with other systems. There's no hum. And the K&K &K works really well in this guitar, I think because it has that thick top without the conventional sound hole. I don't get as much feedback, or at least... I don't get feedback as quickly as with other guitars. So I think this pickup system works well for this guitar and it's a very interesting system, but it still doesn't come close to say the Cole Clark or the Anthem for me. They do have other pickup options as well though. Check out the website to see what they are. I love the design and I want this guitar so badly because of the features, but the sound, although not bad, I will say I like the tone and actually the tone comes through a lot better in the recording on this video because the mic is right against the guitar. But in the room, and this is something that YouTube doesn't really tell you, every time I picked this up and played it the last couple of days, I just feel, I don't feel anything. I just feel very, I, I just, it doesn't inspire me at all. The Martin does, I think recorded, it's way too boomy. And maybe that's the trade-off. Again, maybe those loud, boomy, resonant guitars don't record as well as other guitars. Maybe this would record well, who knows? And then the Rain Song, I just think they were so underrated. The Rain Song has a, Less bass, clearer sound, nice growly mid-range, and I think it records well too. Yes, it's missing a bit of depth to it, but I, I can use that. When I pick that guitar up, I enjoy playing it. It really is a nice all-round guitar. This guitar, I think it's probably just too... I don't want to be on the fence here. Look, I think maybe it's too overbuilt for me. It doesn't, it doesn't quite hit me where I want it to in the sound department. But I do think this kind of thing is the future, and I do think these features are amazing. And I hope that I can try maybe some other Emerald guitars in the future with maybe different designs or different body shapes. I don't know. But like I said, this is supposed to be a Dreadnought. This is supposed to be the biggest of the three guitars in my demo on this video. And in the room, it's by far the quietest. And that, I just don't see myself using this. So I won't be, I won't be um, owning one of these X20s, unfortunately. But if you have one, let me know what you think about this. I've not heard anyone talk about this. 
most people are just saying they sound great and that's it no one's talking about the fact well the points that i've made today no one's really talking about and that's why i want to put this video out there i hope it doesn't come across as a negative review i've seen plenty of positives here but essentially a guitar is a very personal thing and if you don't play it either plugged in or unplugged and it moves you then you're not going to pick it up and play it so thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please subscribe and ring the bell i look forward to seeing you next time take care and be well bye bye <laughs>